Tower of Fantasy just released the brand new Gachapons in order for you to use those Vera coins and that Mira and everything you've been holding on to. But is it worth doing right now? Hey guys, welcome. My name Kiros here. And I just want to go over these Gachapons with you. And I want to show you a little bit of some other Gachapons that are coming very, very soon. I'm talking 2.4 soon and 2.45 soon. Assuming they don't make any changes to global. So let's go ahead and run through these. I'm going to show you what all the gotcha ponds are. And I'm going to show you on some reasons you should pull some of them. And you shouldn't pull some of the other ones for some really big reasons as well. Uh, if you guys can hit that like and subscribe and let's get started. All right. So there's two big announcements that I need to show prior to us just talking about the gotcha ponds in general. One is they finally added the crow matrixes. Now, unfortunately, they're behind the Huma matrixes. And we'll talk about that in just a second here. But they did add other um, other variances as well in here to your Vera coins and your Mira coins. You can see all these other gotcha ponds on the right hand side. I'll show you what each of them are here in a second. Some I have locked, some I don't have locked. I have screenshots of all of them. Thank you to the Baka community for being able to supply those for us. But there's a big mistake I want to show you right away, and it has to do with these Vera coins. Now, you may have cleared out the first one. I've cleared out the first one. I've been able to get the first vehicle, stuff like that. And then we do have a variant of the brand new vehicle that you can get two shards in each of those Gachapons for the Vera coins. But I highly, highly, highly suggest you do not do this one right now. And the reasons why you shouldn't do that right now is what i'm going to show you let's flip on over to the other screen that brings us to our cn account now in 2.4 and 2.5 they or 2.45 i should say they introduce four new gotcha ponds now these are actually on the third floor as you can see here the other gotcha ponds are down there on the second floor and they added a lot of additional things in order to get now the ones that they did add this is very crucial is the ones that uses your vera coins right here in order to get two pieces of your underwater mount now if you're not if you're not familiar with that let me go over that real quick if you in the new 2.4 we're gonna get underwater now with underwater it is it is it's terrible i mean i love it it's not terrible what i mean is that traversing without a mount is terrible and there's only three mounts you can get in the game so if we go to our mounts real quick and go to underwater you can get this one from exploration. Now, getting the exploration without a mount takes a very, very long time. You may be able to do it. Lots of free to play are going to be able to do it, but it's not going to be quick. It's not going to be like you can blow through it in a day, two. I mean, maybe you can blow through it in a day or two, but the average person, it's been taking me weeks to do just because I have to swim around and do other things. Now, um, a very long time to do. Now, the other way to do it is through the Vera Coins Gacha Pond that we just showed. You can see that there's two pieces here. And if you can start with an underwater mount, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Now, the other one you could buy is through the uh, goddess outfit that uh, will be in the outfit that you will get later on. And the mount does come with it, assuming they don't change it. Now, a few other things to point out is that there's a lot of other gacha ponds as well. Uh, some new emotes. And then the other thing to point out is now I know I can't show it because I can't show it right here. But what it does have is the 2.4 world boss matrixes in this one right behind it and those matrixes are really really good now we may not get those in 2.4 it's hard to say or 2.45 i should say hard to say but there's a lot of other boxes here that are good to go so you definitely want to spend your vera coins here and then your mira you just want to be very careful of um, because you can get both of those four set bonuses or four piece matrix bonuses assuming they give it to it maybe if not let's go back to the other side and actually before we go back to the other side let me just uh quickly show this so um one of the the gotcha ponds that we have not um has not gotten a secondary box is actually this green one right here and this green one where all the dance moves is where those other world boss matrixes are all right cool we're back on the other side now, the first one we have is the hot pink one. This is the one that uses the Vera coins. Once again, I do not suggest you use Vera coins. You save it for 2.4 to try and get those, uh, to try and get that mount. 
Now, in order to get that amount, it would take you upwards of 36,000, 38,000 coins. But if you've been saving, you know, maybe you can get it. So the first one that you are going to have is going to get you that vehicle on the left-hand side, one of the chip pieces. You are going to get uh, red nucleuses, 10 gold nucleuses, and a um, and an engine and some additional materials there. So that is, that is very exciting there. Uh, being able to get 40 uh, boosters is also very exciting as well. Now, if we move on to the next one, the green one, which gives you a lot of cosmetics. This one does give you a brand new cosmetic, which is a brand new outfit, the fluffy outfit. So if we were to go into our character here and go down to, I think it's called the fluffy party. Um, not my favorite in the world. Um, I wish they would have done the front a little bit different in my opinion, but uh, it's not it's not bad in all honesty. You got, you got little cat feet down there. Uh, so it's not the worst in the world. Uh, you do get limited matrixes. I don't suggest this one because if you are, um, if you're free to play or a light spender, you shouldn't be going after limited matrix uh, site or uh, special vouchers anyways, because unless you've been saving and you can get up to about 80 of them, it's really not just going to be worth the squeeze on what you're doing. Next up, we do have the orange one, which this one I do have unlocked. This is from Samir. This gives you King. I do not suggest you get King matrices. They really are not going to help you at any point right now. Now, there is a point to be made about getting alternate destinies. Uh, really good for frost damage if you get that to four star. And you do use it in Void Abyss. Or you could use that in Void Abyss. Next up, we do have the pink one, which is more cosmetics. Now, this one is uh, not the correct one. Hold on. All right, back. Sorry about that. I had to find the right uh, screenshot. So now we do have the, the purple and pink one. Now this one's going to give you the other uh, chip piece that you need for that fluffy outfit. So you do need both of the fluffy outfits. The one from the green one, uh, which you can see here. And then the one from uh, this purple and pink one. Um, if, by the way, if I have any of these wrong, hit me up in the comments down below. I don't have a lot of these unlocked, but I believe this is correct. Next up on the list, we do have Huma, which is in the red one. Now, this is the one that has those crow matrixes, unfortunately, right behind Huma. This is, I highly suggest you don't do this one anymore. It'd be better for you to go get the Samir matrixes and just kind of sit on those for a little bit. It kind of stinks, but until we know what they're going to do at 2.4 and 2.45, that could be potentially 20,000 Mira, and you don't get a lot along the way unfortunately in that one you might be better getting some of the summons and sitting on that and, and sitting on those till fiona or a few others uh next up we do have uh we don't have one there we don't have one there i bought all the dance moves because i'm an idiot <laughs> and then you do have the final one which has that other chip piece for that vehicle as well and that uses the vera coins and once again i do not suggest that you do the vera coins absolutely absolutely not worth uh not worth the money in my opinion not worth uh using it in my opinion right now so um with that all being said all right so the moral of that story uh so take two moral of the story should you pull on any of these if you're sitting on a ton of mira yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason why you wanted to. Um, and assuming you don't need those matrices going into 2.45, go ahead and use your mirror. It's not really going to make a difference unless you want some of those new stickers in 2.4. But since we're so close to 2.4, you can kind of wait just a couple weeks. Just see what they do and see if those they add those ones upstairs. Moral of the story, do not spend any of your Vera coins. Not worth, extremely not worth, especially going for those new mounts. And if I was to pick any of these to really go after, besides the crow matrixes, if you need them, it probably would be the purple and pink one because it should give you red nucleuses and it should you get, give you on the second rotation red nucleuses as well. Um, it just it just feels kind of bad because those uh, those boosters could be really really needed, could be extremely needed. But it depends on if you're trying to get the mount or not. It depends on if you're going to buy the goddess outfit. Well, that's all I really got. Hope you guys enjoyed. Those are my two cents. Take it for what you will. I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And fist bump from me to you.